because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, let's take a look at this gold market. Uh, we're going to get into stocks in just a moment. That's a lot of stuff to cover. But you'll notice here we've dropped about 60 handles down to, uh, to uh, 2505 here this morning. This is a pretty big break here for two days, which we were sort of expecting, much like we saw at these other spots that we had ABCDs at. The $64 question, is this going to be the top of the year? Or not I don't know we don't worry about that we're worrying about trying to make some living and how to make some money off of this stuff but we have some tools that work pretty good we try to refer to them every day to remind you but this is gold going over since August you can see we had the big bottom here on August 5th when the stock market was bottoming then we make the large ABC butterfly pattern but the first retracement you can see that we came back from you see how it stopped almost exactly at the 382 level and went just a tiny bit below it so just as, as a report came out right there at 2745 that led to this ABCD right up here 2570 but look at the low today folks I haven't done this yet I just looked at it. I, I've been traveling all morning I didn't get here till about uh, an hour ago and then I had trouble with Skype but if you go to the last low we made here and draw that in you're going to see the low of the day in the gold was 2505 and the 382 came in at 250450. Now, you think, well, that's got to be a aberration. Well, let's go to Aberration City and we'll look at the silver. We're going to come over here. I did this on silver already. I hadn't done it in gold. But here's silver. Now, you'll see here we've had a big move in silver. We went right up to the 61% retracement the last time I was on, which was Tuesday. We were talking about that. It has a beautiful ABCD structure to the downside. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. I'm going to get this out of the way so you can see it really clearly. And uh, John, uh, Johnny's got his little placard over there saying, I see a 3A2, I see 3A2. You're right, Johnny. Put the placard away. And there it is right there. Now, folks, <laughs> this is important stuff. I mean, these things, they don't work all the time, of course. But when they do, like this one over here worked really nicely. This one over here worked really nicely. But when you see that 3A2, it's really nice. Now, right before we came on the air, we had a 382 lined up for you. Unfortunately, it lined up right at the time that we were getting ready to come on the air. And you can see here, there was a 382 at 409. It's now down 160 handles. Looks like it's heading to 406. Now, this is the first big correction we've had in, in a very long time because this market has been up uh, absolute record number of closing highs in the Dow Jones, 11. I think that broke an all-time record. But as we said before, we had the big break that went from January, July 17th into August 5th. The market came back and made new highs in the New York Stock Exchange Index. It did not do it in the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Russell, or the Dow Jones. Folks, that has never happened. I have never seen, and I've looked at that stuff that long, ever since it's been going on in the, the early 60s. And that's never happened. And I don't know what it means, but uh, all I'm watching is that New York Stock Exchange Index. Uh, there's a big ABCD there at 19,300. So write that down because tomorrow, uh, we're, you know, what I'll do is the break comes up. I'm going to check because the high should be in by now. So 19,300 was the ABCD on the New York Stock Exchange Index. And I'll report that back to you uh, when the first break comes up. No guests today, and then tomorrow we have the live trading day, which will always be a lot of fun. And I believe uh, I thought, didn't know if Norm Winsky's got no Norm's not on anyway. So anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, in this. Let's look at a couple others that we want to uh, pay attention to. I want to bring the uh, let's bring in the S and P because it's always everybody's got six excitement about the S and P here. We got we had a beautiful three, beautiful ABCD on the opening. I had three or four people say, "Look at this!" And I said, "Yeah, it was a really nice one." And uh, 
perfect. You can see here, I'm going to draw them in. You'll be able to see them without any trouble. There's your, from yesterday's low up to the high, it measures to uh, 2563. The high was uh, 20, uh, excuse me, measures to 5665. And uh, it measures to 5663. The high was 5665. So that one didn't work. It missed it by about a point. And now uh, you can see we've had a pretty, pretty big move down. But let's check the old 382 calendar and see what we've got. We've got a big low back here on the 16th. So we just made a new low on the S&P just a moment ago. And as we draw this in, that's at the 50%. And the 382 is way down here. Uh, well, not, excuse me, the 382 is up at 56.20. But uh, there was their 50% retracement. Now it's starting to uh, bounce up a little bit. But uh, this appears to me, just, just early morning action that we've got on this half hour, you had the first pullback right here. And that sets up what it looks like could be an A, B, C, D market to the downside. Now, I'm going to try to answer this next question the best I can, and that is, is the year, top of the year in? I don't know, and it doesn't make any difference. These patterns, they work on all different time frames. Find the one that you like and trade that. You don't get an extra credit on your uh, equity run if you pick the exact high or low. It's not necessary. So, you know, we, we yeah, we got lucky in July. Yeah, I had a big breakdown. We, we caught that whole move down. We didn't get any of it on the way up. We waited for a retracement that banged us around a little bit. But uh, that's the name of the game, folks. Some days it's chicken salad. Some days it's chicken poop. It depends on how you mix it. All right, let's move on here to one other thing that we have to cover, and that is the NASDAQ, because that has been the big daddy rabbit. This whole thing has been predicated on that big move. Okay, now here's where we were today. You can see on the retracement back, we hit the 382 spot on, and then we went through it by about uh, 40 points. Remember, you got to risk at least 50 points, you know, right above the 50, um, right above this level. And then it dropped, you know, 150 points. So that would have been a nice nice place to uh, look at it and you can see the ABCDs that we were looking at this morning you can see there's the ABCD in the NASDAQ measuring to 20,007 and the high was 20,017 so both of those lined up right along with what we we're expecting to to see with that and finally we want to take a look at the Russell that thing's all over the map folks that that's the pork bellies of the of the uh, of the indices because boy it 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 did boy it has liquidity like you just can't believe it just dries up and then explodes there's where we were today let's just get this up here do the hourly like we did with everybody else so we can see where we are okay i didn't even make a new high so hold on we, we got to refresh this i just been in the office just a short period of time there was the early morning um uh, gap from yesterday i believe that's what that was let me see no, I'm just missing data in here. Wow, that's that's unusual. Yeah, you see that Russell did not make the ABCDs. You can see it missed it by quite a bit. All the others made the ABCD, but the Russell didn't. And we look at this on the uh, daily chart. It's got up to this. Um, it's gone above the. Boy, but this data is really. Yeah, see, there's your. Let's just clean this up so we can see it. My goodness, go from your high down to your low. We went right up to the almost exact 61% retracement here today. Missed it by about six points, and now we're 60 handles lower. This should be a pretty good top in here, folks, at least a tradable top. Let's take a little break. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we had a question for one of our listeners, and I jump around on these charts uh, looking at this. Folks, when I first start looking at a chart, I look at a daily first, and then I usually go, let's just do it together here. There's the daily chart that we're looking in the bonds. That shows a little bit of a pattern, right? I can see the, you know, the ABCD pattern coming in just like it. You know, I can see all this stuff. But what I do is I go down to the four-hour to see what that gives me six weeks. So I can see, well, excuse me, for three weeks so that I can see what's going on uh, with with the markets and now I can see this really clearly so if I can see it clearly on the four hour then I'll just drop down to the 60 minute and that shows me exactly where I want to be I can go down to a smaller time frame of course but this is really what I'm looking at but today you know there was your 382 when the report came out it was nice enough to give you a fill it went two points above it and now it's down uh, almost uh, $1,800 in just a short period of time. Now look at this one. You had this big move down, and you see it stopped exactly at the 61% retracement, right? The high was at the 786 of this move right here. You can see that easily. So we've already exceeded, just to show you how quick it is. Remember, this happened very fast. This happened within one day, and this is what we're seeing again today. There it is right there. We're going to move it over, and we're almost there. You see that? So what you want to do is you want to measure that to see what ratio that might be if it gets there. And there it is. There's your 78% retracement of that move right here. And as we know, that's only part of the cycle. So you have to go back to the low that we made here on August the 8th and draw that one in. And bada bing, bada boom, here they are, 50%, 78. Write this down, boys and girls. We're just going to put it in. This is where we should be going, 123 uh, we'll call it 123.16. 123.16 should be the bottom here. Herein lies the rub, folks. This is a 12-day rally, and if this doesn't hold, look out below. So 123.16 is the 50% retracement of this low right here. We're going to draw it in so you can see it. All righty. And it's going to be the 78% retracement of the low coming in right there. They're both together. 
So that's why this should be really strong support. Just like this should be resistance, this should be support. And then you want to be watching for some type of rally. These moves are very similar. This was actually more important because you see the market drop two full handles into the report here on the 15th. I forget which one of the things they make up. And by the way, folks, I've said here 100 times, I'll say it 101. When the Federal Reserve drops interest rates, it won't make any difference. Interest rates are going to go higher. So if you think the bonds are going to go down because they drop interest rates, that's not the way the game is played, folks. <laughs> I've seen that game too many times. So I might be wrong this time. And like I say, I'm often in doubt, but never – I know I'm, I'm often wrong, but never in doubt. So that could be the case this time too. But usually that's what that's what really happens. Now, the $64,000 question, I'll try to answer it again about the stock market. When I did that special report about the stock market and that 20-month cycle in the stock market that I saw from 1929, yes, I did look at that. And I've noticed that all of those things have lined up perfectly. The only thing is different this year is the fact that the New York Stock Exchange Index, okay, has made a new high. Now, the, the material that I worked on was based on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. If you'll remember, I want to bring this up here. It was based on the the Bradley model, you see it was supposed to top in uh, July. It was around the 17th. It was supposed to be down into November 5th. Now, we've had a big rally in here, which is not unusual. But we have did not if, – if the Dow Jones would have taken out those highs, the Bradley model would be wrong for the rest of the year. But because it didn't do that, it still says that the market could be pulled down into November 15th. And I think there's something happening in the United States. Oh, the state fairs across all the United States will be open that day, I think or something it's election date that's what it is all right let's move on here and go back to that chart that we talked about right before this is the one i want to bring up to your attention okay now here was this is out of the, the gartley book okay this is the 1929 stock market we've already pointed these out i'm going to show you the real chart you can see it comes all the way down you can see all the abcds it bottoms on J uh, july the 8th of 1932 it gave back 93 percent of its value, folks. It didn't exceed this high for 27 years. It wasn't until 1955 that we finally got above there, and we've never looked back. From 383, it's hit uh, 40,000. So that's a big move. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's what I wanted to do. Remember, when I looked at this, I did all the time counts to show you that was a 20 month cycle up. 20 mind cycle up that has not changed in the dow jones the, the russell any of that it's only not changed in the new york stock exchange index and you have to consider that because it's 1600 issues of the most liquid highly uh traded things on the exchange and it's not it's listed for you know only for uh people that use the etf spy for their mutual funds and stuff like that they don't trade that they trade the sp um, the mini s p or the spy index itself new york stock exchange index is not traded it used to be uh, a lot more indexes in there but uh because of you know what do you call it uh when companies absorb one another, takeovers, well, that reduces it. And then some companies don't make it. But you can see the bottom was made on the 32nd, uh, 1932 on July the 8th with a beautiful ABCD pattern right in here. So nothing's changed. I don't know. Hey, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not looking for a crash or anything like that. All I'm trying to do is to find good little patterns that uh, move on. Now, I've asked to take a quick look here at the uh, Japanese yen because we had a really nice day trade set up. I haven't seen it yet, folks, because I uh, we've been very bearish, there, very bearish this index here. Hold on. We'll get this up here, and we'll see what happens. Oh, it's doing exactly what we'd hoped. Hold on. This is it. This is where we were. Now remember, we're going to go to the we're going to go to the four-hour chart first, so we can see it. There was our first 382 pattern right here. Okay, there was our second one right here. We look. I think we're going to get down to this level right here. But this morning, early, early this morning, we're going to see what happens. So we're going to draw this in. We're going to go down to a uh, hourly chart. Uh, but we uh, let's do 13 minutes because that's easy to see. There we go. Here's where we are right now. There was the bottom. We had the first ABCD pattern right here. I'll just draw these in so you can see it right there. There's your first one right there. And it looks like it's pretty close. Now I can't get this thing. It's too, too tight. 
Yeah, it's almost right on the money. Then we back off, okay? And we're going to see what the next one was going to bring because this is where we would be looking to be a seller, and that would have been here at uh, 146.18. This would, well, it backed off a little bit. Eh, you, this would be 18.30. You'd be out 30 pips right now, roughly $200. You've taken out the high of yesterday, so I wouldn't risk more than you know $200 on this because I still think the the action is still to the downside. But there was the sell. Gave you a small profit in here. Ooh, I can see what happened here from that low. You can see there was your 382 pullback right on the money. So that told you that once it went above here, there was uh, something wrong. But you still got it. You still got 2500 profit. 2500 up. $2,500 profit in this from the sale up there. Let's try that again. Like $1,500 from the sale at $149.40. Taste, stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. More to come. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, boys and girls, we're back to the old ABCD routine with the British Pound. If you remember last time we were on the air, we were looking for a high to come up here at 131 and change. The high was 131.32. We're now 150 points below that, as you can see here from the, what we're watching here today. We're going to do the same thing with the bonds. Now, this is an old chart, folks. I'm just bringing it up to show you. There was the high coming in exactly at that point, so we should be up. 11 handles, 11 days into that. So if you move that over to right here, you'll never guess what today was, folks. Today was the 11th day, and bada bing, bada boom. Look at this. This is just set up. I wish this were Friday instead of today because that was a perfect pattern. We're going to look at it now on a very short time frame, 13 minutes. You're going to see, ah, we got something to look at. Johnny's screaming over there. He's holding up his placard card. Let's just move it up here to right here. I've got a <laughs> Hold on a second. There, there was the big breakdown. Okay, there was your 382 right there. Okay, and look at this. It's already started to move down. And what does that tell us? It's for well, not for sure, but with a very high probability, we'll be looking at the minimum of this right here. Uh, that should come in sometime today. So that's what we're paying a close attention to. By the way, folks, I had to take that 382 card away from. Uh, from Johnny because he kept uh, flashing it up here during the time we were doing it. But here I'll show it to you one more time. I'm not going to give it back to you, but there it is. That's a number you want to remember, folks, the old 382. And guess where the British pound is trading now, folks? Almost at that number. So it must mean something. That's for absolute certainty. Well, nothing certainty in business. Now we're going to take a look at the British pound. And now we're going to switch over to the euro. We've already looked at the Japanese yen. Oh, dear. You know what I have to do is I've got to do the Hong Kong index for one of our, our dear friends here. Hold on one second here. There's the euro coming up, and we should have hit a pretty big number up there in the euro this morning. This is it. I have to update the chart just one second here because I've been traveling. And now we're going to go to the daily Let's see if we got one of our big numbers. Oh, there's the 1.618. Boy, that's a bit. Look at this. Just since I've been gone a few days, holy cow. This thing really jumped up. Let's correct this out. Um, i got to refresh this. Uh, there it is. Hold on one second here. Uh, got to do a refresh a week, Bozo. Just a minute. There we go. There it is. Okay, now we've, we went, went way above the 1.618. I thought that was going to possibly be it, but this uh, had a huge move. We're going to have to look at this on a longer time frame. There's a perfect example. One. I don't see anything here that would have made this stop. So all I have to do now is go to a weekly and see if there was a bigger number there. Okay, now we can see it. We'll just blow it up like this. Oh, dear. Now it's real easy to see. Get this out of the way. Because once we broke through that, we expected it to be higher, which has been the right thing to do. But you can see the beautiful A, B, C, D pattern right here, folks. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to clean it up a little bit, and we're going to work backwards because from your high that you made right back here, okay, you come down, you make a perfect A, B, C, D, and I can see what's happened. We made a higher high, folks, but we did not make an A, B, C, D. See, your A, B, C, D would have taken you even higher and it might still get there see that would take you to 129.21 all you've got is what we see right in here but the key to this is the fact that it's setting right at that 61 percent retracement level see how it hit it here and here and here every time it's got to that level here this is weekly folks every time it's got to this level it's had trouble and you can see now that it's down over 100 points in just a very short, excuse me, um, 70 points in just a short period of time. So this is a very, very important. Let's switch over to the smaller time frame to see if that 382 was in there this morning. See, there was the high that came in. Oh, wait, actually, here's the high. This went way above the 382. So that this is one of those. That, oh, here's a, here's a better one here. Here's a 382 with, a, uh, with an ABCD. That would have come in. Um, it hasn't made it yet. See what on this on the euro this one this would not you wouldn't have gotten stopped out of this, but because here's your first big correction after the high. That's not right, Larry. Hold on just a second. This is one. This is when the high came in this morning. It went way above the 382, so that 382 pattern would have failed. Okay, because it went above the 618. It went to the 786. Then it came down. Now you made a lower low here. We know that when you make a lower low, you've got to recalculate the 382. So you come back, and your 382 now comes in here at the 
1373 your stop has to be above here so the amount of money you're risking there was about 40 pips so what we'd be looking now and it's already completed the downside swing and it's started to even move lower because there's your a b c d in fact is it went far below the 1618 and the rally back here has not even made a 382 off the high let's just double check looks like well for this is the last high it went, uh, yep, yeah, it went right to the 382, hit it one, two, three times, and then down, down, down it came. So big day today, folks. Something big has happened. Uh, I don't know if it's a, something related to cycles or not. Um, people ask me, was there a big cycle thing happening on September 3rd, 1929? And, folks, I've been looking at that stuff for a long time. I've never found anything, and some really smart people could never show me anything that was – Significant. Now we're coming up to the anniversary date here of August the 25th of 1987, which was the top of the market, 1987, that which led to the crash of uh, October of that year. Okay. Now I don't look at anniversary dates because I've never found them to work very well. But tomorrow, or the 25th, is going to be the anniversary date of that day, and that'll be on a Sunday, I believe, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 25th is a Sunday, so maybe Monday we'll have a big thing going on in the market. But, you know, I wouldn't bet on it. I'd, I'd worry about the patterns first and uh, the other stuff uh, secondary, okay? All right, now let's take care of one other one, and that is the Canadian dollar because, boy, they have been running that puppy. And let's just get this up here. This is one I hardly ever trade, but since my – lovely wife is also from Canada hold on a second here let's get the daily up and then we'll see where we are because this thing had a heck of a move <clears throat> boy it has look at this what the US dollar to the Canadian dollar has happened boy just since look I miss a couple of days here and look what happens this thing just totally breaks down we'll uh, refresh the whole thing and then we'll look at it a little bit Oh, okay. Oh, here's where we are. This is interesting. This, the daily, looks like it's right at the 382. Let's just check. A, B. Oh, no. No, it's not. The 382 is way up here. It went through like melted butter. So still, this should be some support here at this 50%. Look how many days in a row you're down on this. Boy, this is, it's had, uh, since uh, August 5th, it did this little tiny uh, two or three day rally here. It was nothing. And then boom. So, this is uh, tremendously oversold here, the dollar versus the Canadian dollar, but that's the way it is. Well, that, I don't trade this one off. Pound, yen, and uh, Canadian. Uh, pound, yen, and British pound are the best three to trade from my perspective with the patterns. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, when I left you folks there on uh, Tuesday, um, if we remember, we were going to be gone for... Uh, Excuse me, I left on Monday, so Tuesday and Wednesday I was not here. This was this move down. We already knew this failed. You know, this looked like it was going to hold, but certainly didn't. Once we went below there, we, we said that was it. And you can see the movements down since that time that uh, we've not been on the air. There's your ABCD banner coming down to the bottom. Okay, see how close we came. The low should have been coming in at uh, 7118. And the low was a 71.46, uh, so that missed it by quite a bit. But look at this nice harmony that you're having today here from what's gone down. You can could, you could see the lower highs that we have in here. So the thing that you'd want to be doing would be to measure these from your high back here, which was a significant high. See, there was your, your 382 came in right here at 73.14. And if you sold that, your stop has to be above here. And if you look at that from your high the previous day here, that's going to be probably spot on to the 78% level, which is right there. So that's a legitimate place to put your stop. That's why these things work pretty good when they work. So that's what you're watching is having a – should start moving down again. This is a bearish pattern that we've got in the crude oil, folks. I mean, this is, this is all the rally you can get here after being down as much as it is. Remember this on the daily. It was telegraphing that it – <clears throat> that it wanted to go down more and it certainly has there's where we were on the last and look we've made new lows here these last two days so this might be a pretty good bottom it might be a double bottom let's double bubble check oh it's got a good chance at a double bottom let's do first things first and get rid of all this stuff on here okay there's our double bottom from our june level we certainly took that out we rallied up to the 61 percent retracement how many days we go up one two three four five six seven days up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days down. Make a new low, and now we bounced around a little bit. The key level here, let's get back to that hourly chart because if we get above this level here, above 73.80, folks, start to watch to see if the market's going to go up. Now, we've had a pretty good run here today on the 22nd. So my first thing to look at would be go down to the 8-minute and see if I can spot a potential 382 somewhere in here. So here's where we are today. Now we have the low in here. And of course, you can see there's no 382 coming in here, but you finally get a move up. Okay. So you want to double check. Now this take this has taken an hour to make this. Now when you're day trading, an hour is is a lifetime. So you got to watch that. So if you go down to your low that you made right back here and draw that in, You'll see it came right to the 382. And then the market had a big move up to the 1618. And then it came back down really quickly. Now, this is where you learn, and this is where I try to teach. Watch that number because that quick retracement there, okay, 
was only a half a dollar a barrel, but it was quite a bit. So what you want to do is go back to that low again, which was right there. There's your low and see if that one was a 382. And there it is right there. That's telling you that this market has now changed direction and it wanted to go higher this morning. There it was right there, your 382 off of the bottom. You see these corrections, how they're almost exactly equal? Let's just look at that together because we see that in Andrew Lowe's book. Remember, repetition re is the mother of knowledge. Hold on a second. This correction right here took uh, this amount right there. Draw that in. I think that's the right amount. Let's see. And this one here was a tiny bit more. But, well, this, there it is right there. There's, there it is there, and there it is again. And so right here was the, the spot where it said, look out, because that was a pullback right at a 382. And once we went above the 1.618, what did it do again? Probably made another 382 off of that same number. You go back to that same number, pull it up again. Oh, it missed it. Uh, that missed it by quite a bit. This time it didn't work. But, like I say, they don't work all the time. Next one, pull back. Went to the 382 again, and then boom, it uh, kept going higher. So we, we we're starting to see this. Now, now the, what we should do is change our strategy here and look for a 382 retracement because we believe, and this is over the last two days, okay, there's a, there's a 20th, okay, so now you've got a really big one up here, so you want watch this one closely, whatever it happens to be, whatever this high is up in here, now, remember, this is only down 70, 72.74. That's only down 50 points, folks, from where we are right now. So even though that looks like a lot, that's just a 382 retracement of the whole day's range. You got you to gotta love that one. Just like if, if you did that, you have to love this one right here. There's your, there's your high right here. Okay. There's your 382. There it is again. There it is the first time. There it is the second time. There it is the third time. So watch it here. Because that's where you want to be paying attention to it, right there. That number is 72.74. We're going to put that in so you can take a look at it. And we're going to surprise everybody, 72.74, and go take a look at some soybeans. Okay, get up here to the November soybeans that are growing in the fields of uh, Valparaiso and Terre Haute, Indiana, as we speak. Hold on one second here. Uh, see, soybeans start with an S. Is that correct? Yes, I think we're okay. All right, there we go. All right, here's beans. Oh, they're still coming down. Boy, they just don't have any friends at all. It still looks to me like, folks, we got a little bit more to go here, and that's maybe even maybe testing nine dollars a pound. Or a, it's only yeah, it's only fifty cents away from this level. Looking at this shorter term, we'll just get up the hourly chart. They had a little bit of a rally, but I mean a little bit. Look at this. Let's, let's, uh, let me up. To, correct this yeah there's today's action where it closed and then this was the opening it's still still going down it might be making a triple bottom in here but i wouldn't i wouldn't bet anything on it all we did here last night was complete that a b c d pattern right here and if this is a high five will get you 10 that's going to be a 382 off of a previous high let's see if we can there's one right back here that's a big one okay uh, i can see it's not but Johnny's saying test it first. And it misses the 382 by, uh, wow, it doesn't miss it by much. Wow, two cents, it misses the 382. And now still headed down, folks. I, I can't, uh, as, as bullish I was way back here, I haven't been bullish on these beans for a long time, and I'm not going to stand in front of it now. So that's the main thing. Well, we got one minute to go left, and we have a question about the hogs and the cattle. We were trying to buy hogs just the other day. Let's see if we had any luck with that. And here's the December piggies. Oh, boy, they took off. Let's see. Did they make the 382 or not? We had. Oh, we did. We had that marked in there. There it was. We had that marked right before we left. There's the day I left on the 19th. This is the 20. There it is right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Right at the 382. It opens there. Takes out the preview. Oh, that's an ideal one. You take out the previous low by a heartbeat and boom away it goes so and now we're getting ready to make this bigger pattern way up here so that's uh that's really nice this is the one remember we were on for live trading that day and we missed that open <laughs> which was probably the best trade of the day but hopefully we'll catch some of these tomorrow when we uh, start our trading it's uh, nine o'clock to twelve o'clock tomorrow new york time 
three hours of live trading. So stick with us. We'll be right back for a few final words of TFNN. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. There's no better time than now to sign up for Live Trading Fridays. Why is that? That's because the next trading session, this Friday, August 23rd, coincides with Jerome Powell's Jackson Hole speech. Chairman Powell's comments have the power to greatly move the market, and Larry is ready to capture those gains on the moves. Use code LARRYAUG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month. See you there, Tigers. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm showing you the chart of the New York Composite. If you remember on the show this morning, I said we were looking for a possible high. Today, you notice, you can see that it took out the high the previous day here, but that should have come in at 19,300, but it came in at 18,900. So it missed it by uh, a little bit if, in fact, this is a potential high. That's the only thing I'm looking at here is this ABCD. ABCD is right up there. It's a little bit higher. Now, when you're looking at something, it's 18,000 and missing it by 200. That's not much. So... This may be the high. I'm not saying that it is, but, you know, if it gives you a trading opportunity like we had in the, the Dow Jones today, then that's what you want to be looking at. And since we're talking about that, let's take a quick look. Uh, that will get finished with the hogs, and now we'll take a look here at the, uh, the S&P here or see where we are with the Dow Jones. Yeah, we're still heading down. We're almost getting close to, uh, yeah, we're on our way, folks. It looks like we're going to make this uh, 106 and change. We're at 107 already. We just broke 106 at 
So if you're in that one, this has been a really good one. You got about 300 points in it, so you should be a cap happy camper and also spend a couple bucks and come join me tomorrow to help tfn out and the old cowboy so i can buy more medicine for this old decrepit body that keeps hounding me and hounding me and hounding me i went through my test folks i lived with uh, beautiful flying colors the doctor said i can guarantee you could live through the end of the day but don't call me mid-afternoon so so far i'm all right but you know like doctors say they're the most honest of all professions folks right on the shingle it says practice of medicine my grandpa said find a doctor that doesn't have that on his shingle said i've stopped practicing and i'm doing it for real so that's what i've been doing now we're going to take a break here till tomorrow and we'll have a lot of fun on the trading tomorrow so if you get a chance tfnn uh, at Jacob and he'll uh, he'll get, get you signed up and everything and we'll try to make a few dollars like we've been able to do most of the time see y'all folks live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless 